You got a tattoo? Then you gotta have a story behind it. We tat stories and we bring our viewers those stories. Kahuna's at the Golden State Tattoo Expo is still grabbing ink tails. Our first story comes from a gal with a poo Hellraiser mashup. Yep. Our second features an Oscar, Emmys, and a naked Maryland. Finally, we've got a sleeve featuring iconic women of Mexico. Kahuna for Tat Stories here. I've got Dahlia, and you know what? I've got Milo, too. Milo's so cute. Milo, you want to say anything to the crowd? Nah, he's camera shy. It's okay. Uh, Dahlia's sporting some absolutely badass ink, and I want to make sure that we get a little bit about what it is, you know, any piece in particular that, that she thinks is unique, and, you know, try to get the story behind it. So, Dahlia, tell me a little bit about a couple of your more um, intriguing pieces that you really like and why you like them. Okay. Um, well, first off, I mean, my whole entire left leg, it's amazing. Uh, my husband did it, Hollis Cantrell. But it, I love Hellraiser. So this is what I have on my chest is the Lamenca figuration. And my entire left leg is modeled after the movie Hellraiser, but with Winnie the Pooh characters. I wanted to do something different because you always see, you know, you see portraits of like Pinhead. You see portraits of horror characters, but you don't see really a mashup. So I wanted to do something fun. And that's what, if you can see here, you know, I have Pinhead Pooh, I have Butterball Eeyore, I have all the Winnie the Pooh characters, the Cenobites, um, pretty much destroying uh, Mickey Mouse characters, you know, all the Disney characters. So. I don't think I've ever heard a Hellraiser meeting uh, Winnie the Pooh, but you know what, folks? We're going to get some B-roll of that so you can see it because it's spectacular. What else, Anya, that you, that you really like that Hollis has done that, that you know, you think pops and tells a story? Sure. Um, well, this one that we did when we were out in Colorado, we actually stayed at the um, the Shining Hotel, uh, well, where uh, Stephen King got the whole you know the the story behind the the movie. So we did the Shining twins on my arm, and we have twin daughters. So I kind of named the the twins on my arm to be the twins that we have. So it's kind of like got my girls on me, so you know it's kind of cool to have family, you know, and do. I love that twins in the Shining. Guess what? Kahuna's got twins. I don't know if they're going to be in The Shining, but we kind of like that. So, M Milo, do you have anything else to say? No, he's, he's still not talking. <laughs> so, let me ask you this. Uh, I know Hollis has done your ink. What do you, you know, what, um, what's special about wor the work he does and why? Because he does amazing work. Uh, I mean, I, I'm originally from California, so I have a lot of other pieces that are cover-ups. Because when I first lived out here, it just wasn't quality-wise. When I met my husband now, like, just the, the quality of the work and everything is so amazing. He puts the pieces that I want together because everything I have is, is basically, you know, custom. You know, you're not going to really see a piece like that out there. So putting things together and then seeing it come to life the way that I see it, it's, it's amazing. So. so let me ask you this, or actually better yet, tell the folks, where's the shop? Our shop, it's in Glendale, Arizona. Iconic Tattoo and Piercing is our shop. Okay, and just so you guys know, Hollis actually uh, does a, quite a few of these shows, and he moves around, so you know a lot of folks get an opportunity to get inked by him. And i got to tell you, it's spectacular. Probably one last thing, uh, just, from a, uh, you know, just from a time perspective, the piece on your leg you know, is, is, is exquisite. How long did it take? Over 100 hours total. Uh, I don't even know how many sessions, but because it goes all the way down to my toes. So, yeah, a lot of uh, hard work put in that he did, but it turned out amazing just how I wanted it. That's amazing, folks. All the way down to her toes. Milo, what do you think of that? He's still not talking. All right, well, you know what, folks? This is the Kahuna. I've got Dahlia. We are at the Golden State Tattoo Expo, and I am absolutely thrilled to be able to talk to she and Milo. This is the Kahuna, and I'm out. Kahuna for Tat Stories, and I am here with Lawrence Schiller. Now, folks, you may not know it, but Lawrence has done some incredible work actually taking pictures of ink, both from a film perspective and from a still perspective. I want to get a little bit background from him and find out, hey, what has he shot over the years, uh, you know, from an ink perspective, and where has it appeared? 
Larry, tell the folks a little bit about some of the stuff you've done. Well, I started at a very young age, about uh, age 17, uh, working for Life Magazine and Perry Match. I did all the news of Marilyn Monroe two years before she died. And I was a photojournalist traveling all around the world. Tragically, I was in Dallas when JFK was killed, and I was with Bobby Kennedy when he was killed. Uh, but that was the days of photojournalism. Uh, in 76, after the thrill in Manila, I stopped taking uh, still photographs and became a motion picture producer and director. And uh, my first full film, I won an Oscar for, for The Man Who Skied Down Everest. Oscar. And then I uh, went on to make dramatic films and won seven Emmys. My films did. Written five New York Times books and partnered with Norman Mailer. Uh, we did a very famous book called The Executioner's Song which I produced and directed with Tommy Lee Jones. I was involved with Lenny Bruce, you name it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm 16 years old, I'm just learning what to do. And, uh, you know, each morning brings a little bit of wisdom and also a lot of stupidity. You know what, Larry's my kind of guy. Not only is he humble, but he's got a sleeve of achievements. And most importantly, he's here today. We are so incredibly proud to see him. I gotta tell you folks, He's got a book here. It's got some spectacular, spectacular stills of ink. If you get a chance, pick it up. It's called All of Me is Illustrated. It's got all of Ray Bradbury's original text from the illustrated man and the illustrated woman. I got to tell you about the illustrated woman. It's a story about a 300 pound woman who goes to see her psychiatrist. And she's crying and she says, I got to gain more weight. I got to gain more weight. And the psychiatrist says, what do you mean? Women lose weight. They want to come, to, they see me to lose weight. She says, no, my husband took a year just to do my right arm. And he's running out of canvas and I got to gain more weight because I need more canvas. And, and I don't want him to go see other women. And then it's just a huge, hilarious piece. The Illustrated Man is really fabulous because it's the story of a man who's totally covered and his tattoos come alive and each tattoo has its own story so what I did is I took Bradbury's text and I brought it into the modern era and I uh, collaborated with Ink Magazine and 15 of the top tattoo artists from all over the country and every picture for the book with Bradbury's text was photographed original for the book you know here's Paul Booth incredible image you know and a lot of the, the artists have been by here, and uh, it's a pre-publication before it goes to bookstores right here at uh, the convention. Okay. And, now, and you can get it online, too, allofmeisillustrated.com. Now, folks, I'm here to tell you, this is a storybook. It's a visual storybook, and you know what? It's perfect for tat stories. This is the Kahuna. I'm with Larry. He's incredible. Get the book. We are out. Thank you. Kahuna for Tat Stories, and I am here with Anna. Anna's got some incredible ink, and we're going to talk to her about it. The first piece I want to talk about is this incredible bad girl sleeve. So, Anna, what do you have there? Um, what does it mean to you? Why'd you get it? Okay, I have just portraits of female portraits from Mexico because I'm Mexican and I want to resemble the strong, uh, the strong woman from from my culture. Okay, now are there any particular women or? Yes, uh, I have Frida Kahlo, Kahlo Maria Felix, um, Miroslava. They're like very important in Mexico. Awesome. So we have some some mexican women that have been influential uh, in the mexican culture now tell me you've got a you've got a belly piece what's that all about um i just i like writing a lot i feel like uh, it's a very artistic it's, i just wanted to do some writing on my stomach it doesn't the meaning of it doesn't really have a meaning i just like the style of how it looks so it, what does it say it says the dream begins Oh, we like that. That's awesome. Now, what else have you got? I, I notice if you got a piece here that's starting on your on your left arm. What is it? Actually, it's, I'm getting a laser removal. Oh, she's getting it removed. All right, so why? Uh, because I didn't like it. <laughs> first tattoo, first regret. 
You know what, folks? We've heard people get, uh, you know, laser removed stuff they didn't like. After it's done, you're going to put more on the same place? Yes, of course, yeah. All right, so I got to ask, what do you think you're going to put on to replace it? I don't know yet. I'm still debating if I want to do another girl or an animal, but I have to find the right artist for this. So depending on the artist and their style, that's what I'm going to get. Okay, is there any particular style you think you want from an artist standpoint? Um, honestly, right now, I just want black and gray work. So. Okay, so she's looking for black and white or gray, and so um, you're thinking maybe a potential animal. Um, who did the work on your right arm? Okay, I have, there four, uh, there's five different artists in my arm. Um, they're from Arizona, uh, from a shop called Nokohe Tattoo. Um, the main artists are Alex Contreras, Andres Ortega, Adrián Delgado, and, and your Reynosa. Folks, they're doing some incredible ink in Arizona, I got to tell you. I want to thank Anna for spending time with us today. Uh, we are still at the Golden State Tattoo Expo. This is Kahuna, and we are out.